Hi everyone, it's WGM's MCI here. How you doing? Welcome you back to my Let's Play of Dragon Quest, The Journey of the Cursed King. Last time around, we explored Castle Trudian and learned that we had to get a Moon's Shadow Harp to basically get the ship out of the desert. But before we do that, we also got a magic key. So we're actually here near my Hella Abbey, and you're probably wondering what we're doing here precisely. Well, we're going to do a little bit of exploration. It's been a while since we've done anything like this. And we see, we actually see two chests across the island there. We can't get to those just yet, but we can go over here and get this chest. This chest was automatically locked, but we have the magic key right now, so we can get it as another mini metal. So right now I'm going to zoom. We're going to zoom to. I'm going to zoom. I'll do that last actually. We're going to zoom to Mori's place. And I'm actually going to go around into the back of it because I forgot that there is a chest here. And it contains another mini metal. I could just fight these guys, but I don't want to. And there's a lot of them, so. Wow, 4 MP? Okay. Ow. Because there was a chest I tried to get earlier on this Let's Play and forgot that it was locked. Because that's a thing. So it's way up here. Oh, I was gonna... Yeah, now I have the Holy Silver, or now I have the Tumbler Sword, I'm doing a lot more damage to Banjo, which is good. Uh, I suppose that counts as a physical attack, so. And that, I level up to level 20. HP up 13, MP up 3, Strength 3, Agility 4, Wisdom 2, Resilience 2, and learn Sizzle, and get 4 skill points. Uh, should I heal? Yeah, I should heal. Good. Here's a chest I've tried to open before. That's the state of defense. Now I'm going to zoom once again to Mori's place. And now that we've collected all three monsters that Mori wants it, let's go talk to him again. Ah, so it's you, Senor. I knew you'd come to see me today, Senor. The winds, they bring your scent to me. You did a good job for me, now it's my turn to do it for you. You will not be needing that memo no more. Here, let me take it for you. I can sense the fire burning up your eyes, Senor. I can sense the passion, your hidden potential, your gusto, your passion. So let me show you my appreciation by taking you inside. I know you've been wondering about this place, I. Eh? Allura, follow me. Oh, 
Okay, I guess do it. No, he can't. <laughs> I wish he could do it. I wish he could like attempt to copy Mori. And you maybe have like a quick time event or something like that. That would be awesome to see Yangus doing like a triple corkscrew. So in here, you can actually talk to a priest and see if it in here. I know, strange, huh? It's kind of cool, actually, you can see if it in here. This is a zoom point, so you can't do it. But anyway, let's go meet Mori. If I can find him. Or if I can remember where he is. There he is. Let's talk to him. I want an entrance like that. If I can so awesome, he gets to do it twice because you know. No, we can. So, I do you wrong. I should never have asked you such a question. Yes, go. I explain what I do. The 200,000 gold pieces you need for to have your own monster team, I will make the payment for you. Okay, awesome. Swear this one thing. 
Sure, let's do it. I mean, I think I should do it a third time because it's that awesome. Then it is decided. Senor, from this moment, you are the owner of your very own monster team. And I become a monster team owner. So yeah, all those uh, unique monsters that we saw in the field, you can recruit them and they fight! Let's get straight down to business, eh? First, you will need a good, strong name for your team. An intense name that shows the, the, the passion. If you cannot think of a good name, I can do it for you. So, do you want to name your own team? Now here's the thing, I'm bad at thinking up names of anything, so you know what Mori, let's see what you've got. So I think, I think no here? Sure, that sounds good. Or I could name it myself, but I, I honestly wouldn't know what to name it. So yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. So, senor, you have named your team. Now, you must think of the team members. At first, your team will consist of the three monsters you found for me. And you see the monster arena key. Now you can enter in the arena whenever you want and take part in the championato of my monstrous in any kind you like. Go and talk to the man at the center counter whenever you want to enter the pit. But if you want to be smart, you talk to some people and get the information first, eh? Alright, so that was quite a lot of information to take in at once. So, yeah, 
every single unique monster has its own stats and it's affected by the hero's level. Not only that, but every single unique monster has its own abilities and has its own things that you, it can do in the monster arena. You can't control them, so it is slightly random, it is RNG based, but you know, it's a really cool mode. I actually really like the monster arena. I really do. It's probably one of my favourite mode like favourite things in this game is the monster arena. But uh, we're actually not going to be doing that right now. We might do it in a later episode. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. Um, I probably will end up doing it from time to time for some episodes. But uh, right now, we're actually going to uh, do something else. We are going to... We're gonna go and zoom. Um, we're gonna go to. Uh, Cause we still have to explore with the magic key. And you know what? I'm actually gonna heal here. Yes, I can. So yeah, like this, this is a big thing of this game, and uh, there's actually something I haven't really talked about, and that's um, the differences between this version and the DS version. So um, the DS version does have a different soundtrack, but it also has two additional characters, both of which we have actually met at this point. The first additional character is Red. And honestly, as I've said, I haven't actually played the DS version, so I don't know what she's like as a character. But the actual, the the second character that you get is Mori himself, and I don't, I don't know as well what he is like as a character. But uh, yeah, you do get those two additional characters in the DS version of this game. But obviously, this is not the DS version. This is just the regular version, so we won't be getting those characters in our party. I I, I would love to see like what kind of abilities they have and things like that, but I honestly don't know, so I can't really say either way. But we're just going to leave Pippin. Because we still have some, a little bit more exploration to do, because we, we did get the, uh, we did get the, the magic key, so we are going to get a few more chests while we're exploring the world. Oh wow, well, that's a lot of enemies. I'm gonna flee. And of course I don't. Oh really? Okay, stop, please. Talking about cleaning. That... <laughs> that was insane, like... That's what happens when you can't flee and it's really annoying. So I'm actually going to go as if I was going to go to Red's Den. Unfortunately, Red's Den, you can't zoom there, so unfortunately we do have to run there, so that's the reason why I went to pick him. Let's try and cut down my travel time. I can handle two of these guys, hopefully. I said, they're probably resistant to magic, actually. And the Angus loves up to level 20. 
HP up 13, MP up 2, Strength 4, Agility 2, Wisdom 2, Resilience 3, 3 skill points. Heading up now towards Res Den. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Uh, flee. Nope. Really? <laughs> nice. One of the sixteen chance. There we go. But yeah, there's actually quite a lot of chests that we missed out on because of specific things. I can take two of these. The resistance to magic, so... Good. I love how fast Angela is, just slice. Alright, so we're here. I didn't mean to go as far as I did, but I'm here. I'm trying to go around the rock, which doesn't want to go well. I'm going to get the first time play. I was a bit worried there I wasn't going to get that. It's been a while since I had a first time play, so it was like, I don't want to really fight these guys. Sorry, I'm just referring to the map. Yep, going the right way. Heading along here. So yeah, there's quite a lot of chests now that we can open because we got the magic key, so it's actually really, really good. Nice, first time play. Just follow the edge, really. And we do see a chest off in the distance there. I see it. I have good vision. I actually wonder if they are weak, or they are resistant to magic. Yeah, they are. Well, that's swish. Ow. Good. Yeah, I might heal after that swish. Just heading straight towards the chest. And it contains... 
a scene of skill and an encounter. Alright, so Seed of Skill is actually going to be the first seed that I'm going to use. Now, seeds are basically stat upgrades, but Seed of Skill permanently gives you skill points. And you're probably wondering, wait, who are you going to use this on? Well, you might be wondering what I'm actually going to be doing with this. But I'm going to use it. Seed of Skill, yes. And I'm going to use it on Jessica. Let me just check before I actually do this so that I have this correct before I actually do it. I have this correct. Yes, I do have it correct. Alright. Jessica obtains five skill points. And I'm going to do something strange. I'm going to put them in fisticuffs. All of them. Now, you might be thinking that's a waste, but it actually isn't because Jessica learns a skill at 52. Fisticuffs. Now everybody gets 350 total skill points, which is enough to put every skill up to 100 plus 50 on any other skill. So basically I concentrate on 3 skills with uh, 100 each and then have 50 for 50 cuffs. F 50 for fisticuffs, that's hard to say. Except for Jessica, because Jessica needs to have 52 to have that skill I was talking about. We probably won't see it until pretty much the end of the game, but we might see it at some point. So it's probably a waste, but it's worth it in the end if I get to level 99. Let's just put it that way. Which I might end up doing because there's a some certain something that I actually haven't done in this game. So there is something that I have I haven't done in this game, so I will be doing it blind. And honestly, I'm extremely nervous about it. And um, we won't see it until the very end of the game. We probably won't see it until the bonus episodes, actually, to be honest with you. But I'm scared of it. I've never done it before. So I intend to do it for this Let's Play. So that'll be fun. Keyword might be fun. I will be grinding instantly to get as high a level as I possibly can for it. Cause I've never i I've never beat it before and I can't even I can't even flee from these guys. Okay, stop, please. Please stop attacking me. Thank you. I'm gonna heal <laughs> after that. Alright, so this chest, I'm trying to figure out where it is. I am referring to the map, and it's sort of here, I think, somewhere. Because once I get it, I can just zoom out. Good. Thing is, I actually totally forgot about these chests, so... I'm getting them now. Yep, there it is. There's the chest I'm looking for. There you are, Mr. Chest. Let's get you. And we get a gold ring. Alright. So now we're going to zoom again. Where are we going to zoom to? Oh, that's one of the... We need a uh, hilltop hut. We need to go to. I'm actually tempted to heal. You know what? I will heal. I will heal, because I know what this place is like. I mean, MP's pretty low, so I am actually going to heal here.
All right, so we're back here again. There's one more chest I need to get. I will probably end the, the episode after we get the chest and then we'll zoom to where we need to go to. Uh, flee. Nope. Wow, everyone's poisoned. Everyone is poisoned. Okay, stop attacking the hero, please. Wow, I can't flee from three enemies? Thank you. I think flee- I think poison does stay after battle? I need to check that, actually. I think it does. Everyone's poisoned. Wow, I- Yeah, everyone is poisoned. So I'm just gonna use Squelch and everybody. Alright, no longer poisoned. If I kept the poison on, it would have dealt damage to me per step, but I don't want that, so... We're not gonna have that on our party. Rock one. I need these guys. Wow, just attack Jessica. Why don't you? And just gonna use as much powerful spells as I can. Awesome. So we actually need to go... Where do we need to go to get this chest? Okay, it's way down here, okay. Hey, you know what? I can fight these guys. Okay, number one, not dead? Haha, <laughs> one in 16 times. Okay, still not dead? After all, what? Okay, now, now you're going to die. Double crackle? Come on. Yeah. Whoa, 234 XP. I'm happy I fought that. Making sure I'm going the right way here, I am. Chest should be... yes, it's over there. But we do have to go around the long way, unfortunately. And this chest contains... A 
seemed it depends. Alright. So now we're going to zoom once more to... Where is it? Uh, Riverside Chapel. That's where I was looking for. This episode right here. So next time in Dragon Quest Journey of the Cursed King, we will get a few more chests because there's a few more chests that we can get with the magic key. And we'll also go to where we need to go. Um, because luckily for me, I know where it is where we need to go. So if you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave this. Don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe. Become part of my community where we express fun and positivity. So, with all that being said, folks, I will, of course, see you again.